All right, folks, we're sitting inside the 2013 Chevrolet. It's a Malibu. Sounds like it's got a big four cylinder in it. Oh, it says mom loves you right there. Whoa, lady. Uh, it tells me there's a, a noise complaint when braking, grinding noise. So let's take it for a rip. Here we go, folks. Usually, if a customer is complaining about a grinding noise, it's bad. Let's just see what we got. Well, we gotta wait for the napper guy. Ooh, there goes Napa. Not sponsoring today's show. I'll well, better roll up my window, I guess. Let's see if we can hear any grinding action through town. Oh, I don't hear grinding, but I hear a bad wheel bearing. Oh yeah, there's some grinding action too. Uh, some thumpity thump. Sounds like we have a bad wheel bearing, if not more. Oh, just a minute, I need my seatbelt. Start swerving and then the seatbelt thing goes off. Where is it? Where's the hole? Okay, let's listen to the brakes. Whoa. Yeah, they've got some kind of something going on here. You got something wrong, lady. Boy, it might have some really choppy tires on it. Hard to say. It sounds like a wheel bearing, possibly on the right side to me. Let's get it back, see if we can find it just on the lift. Huh, wasn't really making the brake noise there. Step on your brakes there, Mrs. O. Turn your wheels to the right for me. Free tip Friday for you, folks. Uh, step on the brakes there, old girl. You on the brakes? Turn your wheels to the left. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Okay, let off the, uh, let off the brakes. Is it in drive? Okay, step on the gas. How fast are you going? That's 30. Okay, just let off the gas. Okay, slowly step on the brakes. Turn your wheels to the left. To the right. To the left. Are you on the brakes? To the right. Whoa! Get her up to 30. We got a screamer! Get off the gas. Would you agree or disagree that is a bad wheel bearing, Miss Doe? Yeah. What'd you say? It's a weird one. It's a weird one. Turn to the left. Place grips back. Okie dokie, artichokey. Free tip right there for you folks. Uh, don't use that design. A lot of people are going to be crying in the comments about destroying the brake hose. Uh, I've done it hundreds, if not thousands of times, never had a herd of brake hose. You essentially, just put pressure in a wheel, pinch it off, let it hold pressure, turn off the traction control, turn off the stability track, and allow it to spin each wheel on the lift. This car does have four snow tires on it, so I was right in the sense that it sounded like it had knobby tires on it, but I could get just a hint of wheel bearing while I was driving, and hopefully it's obvious in the video that the right front passenger front wheel bearing, which we thought when we were driving, uh, or at least I did, uh, is the bad, the offending wheel bearing. Now the back ones, you spin by hand. I spun those by hand, didn't hear anything, brakes are hanging up on the left rear don't know what's going on there i'm gonna peel all four tires off and we're gonna have a little look see we've done the full rip down and assessment so 
it's one of those cases the brakes aren't completely hammered uh, they're down pretty good this is the side that needs the wheel bearing I pull them off to make sure a that the caliper is good the pins aren't C see what's salvageable uh, I'm gonna recommend leave it up to the customer if I was doing it I do wheel bearings and then just do brakes because we're not gonna be any closer than we are right now when we come to the back uh, kind of the same thing peel the calipers off make sure they're good pads on this side uh, weren't too seized up uh, not horribly worn out pins still move uh, come to the other side the inner pad was seized and for some reason this um, backing plate here is all kind of tacoed up and it does scrape back here but like I say we can see that this one's all bent I don't know why or who was in there uh, and some pretty uneven pad wear back here now this side you know again despite their uneven in thickness I would just recommend that she's going to replace them uh, however that's completely up to the customer they are not technically metal against metal but it is getting time what's up Mrs. O? found this oh that's mine I know thanks good girl yes what else you got Does this lady give this a go you told me like two seconds ago to write an estimate what are you doing out here Oh, taking care of everything. Gotcha. Gotcha. Where's Gavin? Well, Mrs. O wrote this lady the estimate. We got the job. She said, just do it. Do whatever you think it needs. So that's where we're at, uh, break-wise anyways, and within reason, let's be honest. <laughs> got the parts coming. They're coming from Napper. They're not sponsoring it, but we're going to get her done. When is the last time that's the <laughs> had a nice break job video? get some smutch off the end of that uh, piston here before we shove it in. Back to the OG. Haven't had this stuff in a while. I think Josh found an old case of it upstairs must be. I just want to get some of the junk off around this boot before we shove it in there. Be on the safe side. Uh, plastic nylon brush. A little bit of the brake parts cleaner. Whoa, fella. Little torque spit there. Take that fella out. What was that thing? A T30 on this little guy. Dang. We're gonna grab Thor the dog and a 21 swivel and pull our caliper bracket off. Careful with the swivel. They will cut you in the teeth if you're not careful. Take that off and then we're gonna pull these brackets. Head on over to the sand blasting machine. Get everything cleaned up here. Now I did check prior to calling this lady to make sure, like I say, all of our pins and stuff were free, our calipers were good, so we're good in those regards. Uh, bring out the other dog, limited edition. <laughs> there she is, baby, the 498K. Give her a couple toots. Oh, this one's already loose, never mind. Overkill. And off she comes. Now the other side is ready to rock and roll. This is the passenger side. Brakes have all been taken off in the same fashion. However, we're not cleaning the hub because this one needs a new one. He don't play. He don't play. Axle's nice and free. Now, what we need to do is get out the bolts on the backside. Those are some big old honky tonks back there, let me tell you. 
18 mil it looks like. Biggins. Got your classic Astro 1838. Just recently featured on the SMA 60 Second Tool Review YouTube Shorts. Let's see if this little guy will work here. <laughs> Oh, 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 like a charm. Uh, a little too tight for that fella. Let me go see what's happening outside here. Come on, baby. Oh, we get in there with a regular chrome socket. There we go. Now we're talking. careful of your boot. These are what you're taking out. Well, FYI. In case you aren't quite sure at this point. Spinning around, we got one more on this side, which we should be able to get with the regular swivelly. Whoa! That, oh, twice, twice now. That would have been a candidate for the teeth. Come on, you mother lover. Now oh, you did it, jerk. That's all right, leave that one there for now, folks. <laughs> Trust me, once we crack this loose, she'll pop out. And I don't feel like going getting a hammer right now to push that in anymore. Let's try to get the bearing out. We're gonna thread a uh, forcing screw through here. See if we can't put just a little bit of tension on this bearing. Oh, fella! You didn't use a hook there, did you? Just caught me right in the top of the skull. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Wow. You don't. There. Woo! That was easy. So we just kind of forced it out. Didn't have to pull a stud. Already had its own hole. Which was handy. Now I'm sure at this point everybody's complaining saying, why didn't you use two of them and pull it off even? Well, frankly, let me show you something. The way this was designed, I was pushing right in this area. And let me see, suppose I could have. I looked at it briefly to see where I could push and where I couldn't. It was hard to tell with the shield on what I could push against with that forcing screw. I knew it was gonna be pretty close down here, but I don't really have a good excuse. Uh, why didn't I use two forcing screws? Well, because I didn't, I guess is the answer. It didn't look like that I could without completely, you know, taco in this unit, which all we ended up doing is putting a little ding mark in it, which, you know, we can just flatten that out. Let me show you how I can do that. Hold right on there, folks. There, just like that. She's all fixed. The ding mark is now gone. Everybody's happy. We all go home. But before you go home, make darn rootin' to ensure you didn't get all hog wild and snap off the speed sensor. If you did that, well, you just cost yourself a few bucks and you're probably going to have to wait to get the part. Now we need to clean off the hub face, clean the garbage out of the middle, and we'll be good to go. Timing napper uh, just showed up with our parts. Still don't want to sponsor us though. 
Nor do we want their sponsorship. Jerks. No, they're not jerks. <laughs> uh, I cleaned off our, what's wrong with my food film can here? It's, needs a little help. She's barely petering out of there. Is it plugged? Come on, fluid film, don't let me down. Come on, baby. Maybe if I shake it harder. Oh, stupid cans. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go bonkers today, folks. <laughs> Anyhow, now we got her lubed up. Cleaned out. I don't know where we left off because people are being a tad on the rude side today. I'm not going to go into details, folks, but I swear I can be sitting here talking to someone, looking them in the face, talking to them. Some other fella will walk through that door and just start talking to me like the other person doesn't exist. God, I'm so sick of people's sense of freaking entitlement nowadays and the I owe it to you attitudes. Anyhow, don't get me started. <laughs> I've already started doing just people piss me off. And someday I'm gonna go crazy. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna be one of them guys where you're like, he was such a sweet man. He was such a nice old guy, I can't believe he just did that. talk mean because people are so sensitive now very very sensitive everybody's sensitive even me I suppose I'm the one sitting here pissing and moaning <laughs> who's, who's sensitive now there fella I'm just sensitive because people are jerks some people not all people Just had to take a breather there for a minute. Folks, went and put the brakes on the other side. That's the side we originally started on. And I guess it really doesn't matter if you see one side taken apart and the other side put together. It's all the same, just opposite side. Uh, new rotor here from Napper. We will open this little guy up. We will heave it up on here. We will get our retaining bolts. Stick that baby on there, like so. Find our little ugga dugga gun. Make sure you put it in wuss bag mode, so that's low level, then just baby that trigger. And that's it. If you don't trust yourself with the ugga dugga, do it by hand. Mm-hmm. Sound like a villager on Minecraft when I do that. Who plays Minecraft? Any of you guys Minecrafters? Probably not. I'm a 41 year old man. I play Minecraft. I ain't afraid. To, I'm afraid to say that. My kids got me into it. I was a big fan of the Lego. Legos. I don't know if you can say Legos. I don't know if there is a plural for the word Lego. And then when I got older in life, my kids love playing the Minecraft. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a kind of a bit of a crafter myself. My guy, me and my boys, and Trinity, they all play Minecraft. We, we play Minecraft together. They laugh and laugh and laugh at me. <laughs> they think I suck. Now, I've already cleaned these pins prior to, well, I sandblasted the bracket, but by cleaning them, I mean I took them out, wire wheeled uh, the rust out of the upper groove. It is important that you get some grease in there because that's kind of what seals that out now don't over grease these and yes i'm using a brake caliper grease some stay lube uh brake and caliper grease synthetic not a sponsor it's almost gone i go through lots and lots and lots of brake lube as you may know we do lots of brake jobs like a lot of shops it's kind of your some of your bread and butter work you do tons of Therefore we go through lots of it and because people will ask how come I don't use the purple stuff? How come I don't use the green stuff? How come I don't use? So glide or whatever brand I used in my last videos simply because I ran out And I just bought 
typically I'll buy whatever's on sale. Brake lube wise, uh, the stay lube here, I've used this a lot in the past, had good success with it. I think I bought several tubs because Napper had it on sale a while back, so I'm, I'll be using that stuff for the next few months anyways. We're going to slip our pads on our new hardware, always use new hardware, quality hardware. Make sure your pads slip on gingerly, you can slide them back and forth very easily because you don't want them seizing up on there. Well, these are made right in Canada, that's up in the North Country. So that's good. Our pins are good. Everybody's free. We're happy. Right? We're getting happier anyways, aren't we? Okay, let's bolt that on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you clean your caliper off and put a little Loctite on your caliper retaining bolts here. Uh, obviously, read service info. Do not base your auto repair knowledge, skills, and information off stuff you see on YouTube. I'll tell you that right now. Use it for entertainment more than anything, if it's entertaining, or rough ideas, or how not to do's. That's always a good thing, too. Uh, going to get a torque wrench. We're going to torque down the caliper bracket. Uh, still have to torque the axle nut yet. Put our caliper on. Uh, father time is not on my side today, folks. I think what we're going to end up doing, we're going to end up putting this front together, so we're lubing the piston face here keep that from getting rusty uh, we're gonna have to skip the back brakes on the Vigeo I've probably got another video doing rear brakes on a Malibu or a GM with screw in calipers I'm sure if not I'm sure we'll probably have one in the future I just feel like I'm running an uphill race here today folks so we're gonna skip that I am committed though I am gonna finish what we came to finish what we started and that's this video here to show you folks how we get the job done of course you've seen it a, you've seen it a hundred times you guys are a bunch of brake job weirdos you love your brake jobs i'll give you that or at least you say you do some of you do some of you hate them but that's okay me i i don't matter it's just what i do every day We're going to have to get a wrench and hold that flat on that one to snug that up. Got to have a skinny wrench to get on them usually. 17 mil. There we go. Just want to make sure that's tight. All fancy. So these ones have a weird spec, you tighten them, you loosen them, and then you retighten them. Ending around the 185 foot-pound mark, I believe it was. So there's the brakes. All we have left to do now is get in there, pump up that brake pedal, make sure our brake fluid is full. Of course, we want to make sure that, obviously, put the back brakes on it first, and then put all your wheels on and torque them down. I wish I had time today, folks, but I'm running out. I bit off more than I could chew when I started this video, but we're going to end it right now. You got to see... You know, how did I diagnose the bad wheel bearing? You got to take a little test drive, a little toot around town. Stick around while we did this. Um, but that's that, folks. I wish I could tell you more. Uh, why don't you tell me more in that comment section? What do you think? Questions, comments, concerns? Uh, while you're down there, subscribe. Find us on the Insty, the Facebook. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.